Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can make remote desktop connections to Windows PCs from your Linux computer. So we're going to be using a free tool called Thincast. So you have to install this on your Linux computer obviously to use it and depending on your flavor of Linux uh, the instructions might be a little different. So this is an Ubuntu computer here and I just had to run this command here to actually install the Thincast client and once that was done I just had to open it up here so here's what I'm going to connect to. So let me go over to the uh, Windows computer real quick. So over here on the Windows computer, I'm going to connect by uh, host name, which is win11-pro. And here's the user that I'm logged in right now. So on Windows, if you do a who am I at the command prompt, it'll tell you this information. And one thing you need to keep in mind with Windows, of course, is to do remote desktop connections. Uh, you need to have a professional version of Windows. You can't do it with home. And then also in Windows, you're going to need to go to the system settings, remote desktop, and make sure it's turned on. And then you could select which users on the Windows computer you could connect with using their credentials. So by default, this user here will be added to this list because it was configured with this user here. And right now I also put everyone just for some other testing purposes, but you probably don't want to do that for security. But as you can see here, this account here already has access. Okay, so let's go back to the Linux computer. Okay, so as you can see here, I put in that computer name we saw from the Windows computer, and of course you could do IP address as well, you know, and if you're having some kind of DNS problems and the uh, computer name doesn't work, you might have to use the IP address, and then of course check your firewall settings on the Windows computer if you have uh, problems as well, but when you enable remote desktop, it should allow it through the firewall and make those changes for you. Okay, and so my username is going to be computer name slash Todd S, like we saw on the Who Am I command. And of course, you could save your uh, credentials. And then you also have your display settings, just like you do with the Windows Remote Desktop connection. Start a program, share local resources, you know, audio, uh, keyboard combinations, local devices, clipboard, uh, file clipboard, printers, the experience, detect it if you want to have. A higher speed, you can you know, pick one of these, or lower speed depending on your connection. But if, so for the network, it should be plenty fast. And then some advanced options here, like so. You'll see this when we connect here about the uh, security warning, server authentication for the certificate, so you'll see that. Okay, so let's go back here, click on connect. See, this is the same thing I was talking about, so you could have it not show you that if you don't want to see that every time. Or you can just check this box here if you don't want to see it as well, or see the details. Click OK. We'll put in the password for this user. So this here is an actual Microsoft account, so you're going to need the password for that Microsoft account. You, know, you could also set up a local user on your Windows computer and just use the local password. And you could save the credentials as well. OK, so I have the password. Let's click on OK. So now you can see here, we're in the computer here, right at the uh, command prompt where we were before. Things are a little small on my screen since I'm recording at a low resolution, but of course you can change those settings too. You can just go ahead and use the computer as though you were sitting in front of it, just like any other type of remote desktop connection. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you can download the Thincast client. And then like I said, depending on your version of Linux, the installation is going to be a little different. But if you're a Linux person, you should be able to figure it out, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.